Hello, immortals. Now it's time to talk about the reflectiveness gap. So the reflectiveness gap is the third plague, and it's the final plague of foolishness. And so this video is going to use a bit more visual aids because of the fact that it's a uh, it's a bit more of a complicated topic than uh, some of the other plagues, and I felt that these would be helpful. So fundamentally, the idea of the reflectiveness gap can be shown here, and it's the idea that there is a fundamental uh, gap between the uh, between how reflective you are and your agency. So uh, as you could, so here's the agency on the. Uh, on the y-axis, and here's your thinking or your reflection on the x-axis. And so, when you don't think at all ab about what it is that you're doing and what decisions you make, you just end up falling into wantonness. You follow every single desire that you have without really thinking about it very strongly. And so this can, uh, this effectively leads to you not having an agency because you are merely controlled by your desires and you aren't controlled by uh, your rationality. And so by contrast, you can also, however, be, think too much. And if you think too much, then you go here to the analysis paralysis area. When you are in the area of analysis paralysis, you also lack agency, but you lack agency in a different way. When you're, uh, when you're wanton, you're just subject to all of your desires. When you have analysis paralysis, you're just thinking through everything so, so much to the point that it becomes impossible to actually act. You might uh, want to eat a... Uh, I want to eat some chips and then uh, open up the bag and then inspect every single one to figure out exactly which one is the most perfect one to start in, and then you just end up you just end up starving because you've uh, been because you are trying to get a optimal answer in a way where in a way that's really not possible. Your, uh, your rationality is depriving you of your uh, agency rather than your desires. And so now we get to a potential solution. Getting to a flow state. Getting to a flow state means that you're getting to a state where you've optimized between the two such that you are just able to uh, you're just able to act and because you're just because you're just able to act you can act uh, in other words you are optimizing there isn't a you can't do the middle point because there are some things that require basically only uh, only acting on your desires, whereas other things that require lots and lots of analysis. You can't. It, there's a very big difference between, say, eating food, which, for the most part, unless you're trying to avoid choking or something, uh, you can just. Uh, be as wanton as you want with it, at, in, and uh, act on your desires. Whereas, when you're trying to say solve a math problem, it's pretty much the opposite situation. And if you just act on your desires and write something random in the problem so that you can move on, uh, you're certain to uh, get a wrong answer. The flow state is a active the flow state is an active optimization between the two 
another way to uh, look at the flow state is uh, with this rather uh, rather famous diagram, which uh, shows which shows the flow state as being in an equilibrium between boredom here and anxiety here. This is more about how to get into the flow state, whereas the other diagram was more about what the flow state is. In order to in order to get into the flow state, you have to reach a point where the where you're not doing a task which is too difficult where you get anxiety, which can be analogous to analysis paralysis. And you're not at a point where it's too where it's too boring or easy a task where you get boredom. You have to get somewhere in the middle here, which is uh, the golden zone for helping people improve their uh, improve their abilities with flow. And so you can get into the flow state. You can get into the flow state by doing lots of different activities. Sports, sports are a really good example. Uh, I personally uh, like doing surfing to try to get into a flow state. Uh, but and video games can also do it. With a, the flow state is something that the more people get into it, the happier they are, and the more meaningful they report their lives being, and also, it's when people oftentimes do their best work. The flow state is the uh, resolution of the reflectiveness gap, and it's a really, really uh, great thing to be able to reach. Um, you should... And so, you should try to uh, get yourself into the flow state more, perhaps by training with sports or... Uh, sports or maybe video games or uh, meditation. Video games is one that I think has a lot of promise, but I think it all video games have a uh, risk of addiction that's not really present in something like, say, surfing. And so video games in this respect can be uh, a little bit more of a uh, questionable choice for this. But even then, they have a lot of potential, nonetheless. Especially once we manage to uh, once we manage to develop better video games that could improve people's mental health in this way, as opposed to uh, more exploitative video games like our typical now. A a personal theory that I have about flow, which is, uh, to my knowledge, not scientifically supported, is that there's also a, is that there's the uh, experiential flow state that people get into with uh, things like sports and video games. And then there's also something of a uh, more abstracted uh, life stage flow state, which occurs when you're in a similar position where you are, uh, where you're being constantly challenged at a level that's just above your skill level that allows people to really uh, that, that allows people to really develop themselves in their lives. Uh, this is something I would personally say I'm in right now with uh, my YouTube video making stage. This is more uh, speculative, so I don't want you to take it as being fact, but um, it's definitely something that I think that uh, might be worth trying to apply to your life too, to uh, bring yourself into a uh, state where y where the difficulty you're, that you're in in your life is going just beyond your abilities. Well, I, uh, I hope that I uh, helped explain this well, and I will link a video in the description that explains it that, that explains it in more depth. To Omega.